When you have a blog, you really want to share your ideas with the rest of the world. And to do that as effectively as possible, it doesn't pay these days to just have a bland text-based blog. You want to add multimedia content that adds a new dimension to the work you're doing. YouTube, Google Video and the video sharing sites have made it very easy to copy and paste a tiny little bit of code, pop that in your blog and then add that kind of rich multimedia quality to your blog. Well web widgets build on the same principle, only they add interactivity to the mix. So instead of just having a video, you've now got something that the audience can directly interact with. Maybe they can draw a little image into the uh, blog post or leave you a note. Maybe you want them to flick through your portfolio or your latest Flickr photos as if they were actually flicking through a real photo album. Web widgets allow you to do that. Alternatively, maybe you've written an incredibly dense post that consults lots of other sites and you want to be able to send someone off to visit those other sites without actually leaving your blog. Bitty Browser allows you to do that. You can embed a micro browser directly in your blog post. And people can search the web from within it. Web widgets are then a great way of adding that kind of value added content to your website. So we're going to look at where you can get them from, what they are and how to embed them directly into your blog post.